Hi to everyone. Welcome to Vocal Academy. See in this problem. Here two surfaces are given. So this is surface 1 equation and this is surface 2 equation. So between these two surfaces how to find angle at a point 2 comma minus 1 comma 2. This is a problem. So first of all convert this surface equations into form of vectors that is called as normal vectors how to find it so so del s1 gives normal vector for equation surface 1 del s2 it gives normal vector for surface 2 so first of all find normal vector for surface 1 so del means differential operator so that is del equal to i cap rho by rho x plus j cap rho by rho y plus k cap rho by rho z it is a partial derivative now first of all find del s1 del s1 so s1 is this is the equation that is x square plus y square plus z square minus 9 equal to 0. That is i cap rho by rho x of this equation. That is x square plus y square plus z square minus 9 plus j cap rho by rho y of x square plus y square plus z square minus 9 plus k cap rho by rho z of x square plus y square plus z square minus 9. Now here I bring this term apply this term for all the terms. Now apply positivity for this equation with respect to x means other time remaining terms are considered as constant. So here y, z and this value are called as constants. Only we are going to differentiate x terms. So this is the x term is there. So for the differentiation we will get i cap into 2x. Now here with respect to y. So this term becomes 0, this term becomes 0, this term becomes 0. So derivative for this term we will get 2y plus k cap now here x term and y term will be constant 9 also constant only divided with z so this term so you will get 2z it becomes 2x i cap plus 2y j cap plus 2z k cap we want normal vector at this point now substitute this point in this equation so then we get del s1 equal to at this point so this is x and this is y and this is z now substitute here and becomes 2 into 2 nothing but 4 4 i cap plus 2 into y y is minus 1 so minus 2 j cap next 2 into z z is 2 2 is 4 that is 4 k cap this is normal vector for surface 1 now similarly find normal vector for surface 2 the normal vector for surface 2 is del s2 so del means differential operator you know that that is uh, i cap rho by rho x plus j cap rho by rho y plus k cap rho by rho z s2 so now apply this term to all equations we will get i cap rho by rho x of x2 plus j cap rho by rho y of s2 plus k cap rho by rho z of s2 so here s2 was differentiated with respect only this is a positive value. So at the time only we are going to 
derivative with respect to x. Remaining terms are considered as constants. So here, only with respect to y, remaining terms are considered as constants. Here, with respect to z, we are going to differentiate. Remaining terms are constant. Now substitute h2 in this equation, then we get i cap do by do x of h2 is this is equation. So x square plus y square minus z minus 3 plus j cap do by do y of x square plus y square minus z minus 3 plus k cap do by do z of x square plus y square minus z minus 3. Now here differentiate with respect to x. So other time this term, this term, this term are constants, it becomes 0. So for this x square differentiation is 2x that is 2x i cap plus j cap. Now here differentiate with respect to y. So this term and these two terms are constants, it becomes 0. So derivative for y square is 2y that is 2y plus k cap. Now here differentiate with respect to z. Other time these three terms are considered constants because here no z terms are there. Only this is the z term. Now differentiate it becomes minus 1. Now it becomes del h2 equal to 2x i cap plus 2y j cap minus k cap. But here we want at this point normal vector. Now substitute this point in this equation then we get normal vector at this point for surface 2. So that is del h2 equal to so here this is x and this is y and this is z. So here x is 2, 2 to z 4 that is 4i plus so y is minus 1. So 2 into minus means minus 2. Next, minus k cap is there. Here, no, there is no j terms are there. There is no need substitution. It becomes simply minus k cap. That means here, z power 0 is there. Z power 0 means 1. So here, 2 power 0 means 1 only. That's why no need here substitution. Okay. This is the del H2. This is the norm vector for surface 2. So this is norm vector for surface 1. And this is norm vector for surface 2. Now between these two vectors, whatever is the angle, that is the angle between these two surfaces. We know that how to find angle between any two vectors. So this is a vector and this is a vector. Now right here. Del S1 we got 4i cap minus 2j cap plus 4k cap. Del S2 we got 4i cap minus 2j cap minus k cap. So these are the normal vectors for the given two surfaces. So whatever the angle between these two vectors that is the angle between two surfaces. So let the angle is theta here also will be theta. Now how can you find the angle between two vectors. So we know that the angle between any two vectors that is cos theta equal to dot product between these two vectors that is del s1 dot del s2 upon product of their magnitudes that is magnitude of del s1 into magnitude of del s2 that's equal to now apply dot product between these two vectors that is 4 i cap minus 2 j cap plus 4 k cap dot product between 4 i cap minus 2 j cap minus k cap upon product of their magnitudes that is magnitude equal to 4 square plus minus 2 whole square plus 4 square into root of 4 square plus minus 2 whole square plus minus 1 whole square. So that's equal to by simplifying this we get minus plus 16 upon 6 to 21. So by further implication we get 8 by 3 
root of 21. So cos theta we got 8 by 3 root of 21. So from this we get theta equal to cos inverse of 8 by 3 root 21. This is the angle between these two vectors. That much angle is there between two surfaces. So this is the required angle between two surfaces and this is process of simplification and thanks for watching please subscribe like share thanks